Felks, I'm Demotro, and we're almost at the end of grade negative. Oh, grade negative one of my combo class here. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing the modular reset, sort of like clocks do, over to what I'm going to call grade negative two. And during these next couple weeks, while I reset things, I want to take you folks on a little journey through the crazy process of creating this weird school or whatever you want to call it. Now first, since I looked a lot neater at the beginning of this grade, it might be time for a haircut. I know I've gotten a lot of comments saying that the hair and beard now have gotten too long, and I did intend for part of the modular cycles reset to grade negative two, include me looking a little cleaner, including a haircut and shave. So I will be following some of your advice and trimming these, but I don't want to be like fully clean shaven or anything, so I'm just going to half shave my beard probably. Well, that's somewhat around half my haircut, so that should be good for now. One year ago, I did not expect it would be so soon that I would be standing here with 30 or 40 clocks, half a beard, and a whole community growing here. One year ago, there was no combo class footage online. And a few years ago, I was just starting to cook up the thoughts of making a combo class in my head for the first time. A few years ago, my day job was teaching related. I taught music lessons to private students and I did make chaotic videos in my free time. I'll show a few clips of the type of crazy stuff I used to like to film. I hope it doesn't explode. Like there's a small chance it's gonna explode. You can keep your nice potions on your bookshelf. Oh, fuck. Almost. Oh! It's too hard. There it is! Oh! Look at that! going toward the fact that combos are better than single things. Combo! But these were two somewhat separate parts of my world. The teaching part and the part where I made wild videos. And maybe about two and a half or three years ago, it came into my head that maybe it would be good for me and for the world if I merged those two a bit. About a year before I ended up filming the intro that did end up on this Combo Class channel, I had tried filming a different preliminary version of a Combo Class show, which I'll show a clip or two of here. Yes, this is Debocho. I'm late, I'm late to my teaching? I'm late to teach the class? Oh, oh dang it. Right, I'll be there in one second. Okay, uh, shh, where's my curriculum? Okay. My curriculum's in one of these books. Alright, uh, never mind. We're gonna set up the easel. We're gonna be, uh, teaching today with our easel. Oh, dang it. Oh, alright, so, uh, let's combo class it up. I'm your teacher. You might not trust me as a teacher because I may be a silly head teacher. But you can trust me because I have a lot of field research experience. You know, I've studied mud, I've studied fire, I've studied water, 
I've studied air, I've studied all kinds of things, and I'm ready to teach you about anything from magnetism to carbonation to domestication of different... And it didn't work out so well. I wasn't able to put it together, probably because I was honestly in a dark period of life. I was going through some really heavy anxiety and depression, and I don't just mean I was stressed and unhappy, diagnosed things, and I was drinking a ton of alcohol to try and deal with that, a very unhealthy amount, and my life was kind of becoming a mess. And it led to enough bad chaos that there was a time when I almost died during an incident that happened in January of 2021. And that's a story for a whole different documentary-like episode about what I think of sort of as grade zero. And I will get into that at some point. But that's not really the arc of today's story, because today was about actually building this grade negative one. And that all sort of came after I had failed to put together a version of combo class, almost died, ended up breaking my femur, the largest bone in the human body, and having to be in a wheelchair for a while, recovering from that, quitting drinking. As of filming this, I haven't drank in more than a year and a half. And making combo class as you know it. Unfortunately, even after I recovered from the broken femur and the x-rays that doctors were taking showed that I should have been walking again normally, I wasn't able to walk again normally. It was intensely painful to try and walk at all and impossible to do normally. In some earlier episodes of Combo Class, you may have seen me limping around using a golf club for a cane. That wasn't a joke. I had to use some sort of cane to get around whether I was on or off camera, and a golf club happened to be a good height. And although I'm not going to go into too many medical details here about what turned out to be wrong with my legs, there was a huge issue that the doctors ended up finding. In fact, an issue related to my femurs still, but right out of the frame of the x-rays they'd been taking to monitor the broken lower part of the femur near the top of both of my femur bones, where you could call that part of your body your hip, there was a huge issue with the bones. One that was gonna require a major surgery on both sides. So I ended up finding out all of this stuff near the end of 2021, and then being scheduled to get a major surgery on one of my hips where they were going to cut me open and replace parts of the bone in last March, about one year ago. In the few months leading up to that first surgery, despite being in a lot of pain, I was putting together the first few combo class episodes that are now on this channel. And as a little example, I wanna show you folks of some of the pain that my life was in between the edited scenes you ended up seeing, I wanna show you a little look at the day I burnt the first clock in this classroom. This is what I could find remaining of the clock that's in the intro shot of most episodes here. And you just know the edited version, which is what I wanted it to end up looking like. But let me show you a glimpse of how hard it was for me to film that on that day. So let's hope this intro shot works well. A little behind the scenes Demotro, Dimitri, whatever you want to call it. Gonna put some lighter fluid on this thing and see if we can make this look cool. I got broken hips. I'm gonna be bionic at a young age, younger than usual. Until then, limping around, still making my combo class. <laughs> Not a 
put out the fire I started with my intro footage. Ah, and after all of that physical pain leading up to the first surgery, it was finally the time to get it. Just about one year ago from me filming this now. So I super anxiously sat down in a hospital room, got jabbed in the back with something that numbed the entire lower half of my body, had a mask put on me that they pumped gas into that half knocked me out, and then got wheeled into the operating room where they turned up the gas to fully knock me out and cut into me. In the middle of grade negative one, you need to get a hip replacement sometimes. And on the first surgery last March, I was mostly knocked out when they wheeled me into that operating room. But on the second surgery, I was still pretty conscious as they wheeled me into the spot they were gonna cut into me. I could see on the wall, on a TV or computer screen, a giant picture of my x-ray with a big red circle around the part they were gonna work on, looking like one of those YouTube thumbnails with a red circle or like some PowerPoint you'd whip up up for class and as I anxiously sat there and waited for them to turn the gas on more so that I would be more unconscious I remember one of the doctors or nurses asking me so what do you do like ask about my job to distract me and I did say I make a show called combo class you should check it out before they fully knocked me out I cannot feel the bottom half of my body right now because I'm in the hospital coming out of being in anesthesia for a left hip surgery. I got my second hip surgery. Here I am in the hospital. Now that second surgery wasn't until last July because I was basically recovering from the first hip surgery all the way from that March until then. And then there was a multi-month recovery period from that one. But the important thing is that the surgeries were successful. My body's not perfect. It's, it still has a lot of issues for my age and I'm still in physical therapy but the surgeries went as good as I could have hoped. And now I can walk again. During the course of getting those surgeries and recovering from them, I spent a lot of time studying math while I was stuck here at home. Not studying from any particular institution, just studying for fun from a giant stack of used books I'd bought and from the internet and from my own personal note-taking and experimental thoughts. And I was finding a lot of cool connections between different parts of math and parts of reality. Cool connections that I wanted to share with you folks. And that's part of why there were so many number-based episodes this grade, which will probably be a recurring main theme going forward. But this show isn't just about numbers. There were other things I wanted to make sure to include. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the symbols that I decided to put into this grade. As you can see from the intro, I always intended things like... And I wanted dice to be a recurring symbol, as well as the dirt those dice are embedded in. Dirt being a form of earth, and earth being one of those classic four elements that many cultures throughout history have found important. And I had my classroom be outdoors knowing that that would help us embrace some of those elements, such as the earth and the fresh air full of bird song and falling leaves. Although the air does sometimes bring crazy wind, which is its own form of chaos. Like, let me show you a couple clips I took of a particularly windy day here this week. And the water which I didn't originally intend to be a recurring theme. I thought maybe a future grade would have floods as a recurrence, but the rain decided for me that it was gonna be grade negative one from the get-go where water was a theme. <laughs>
And apart from those four elements, there are other reasons to want to film this outdoors. Like you never know when a squirrel's going to run by. Ironically, those four elements recurring helps contribute to the destruction of some of the recurring clocks. But don't worry, even though a lot of clocks got destroyed over the course of this grade, we'll have even cooler ones here in the future. These whiteboards have taken a beating too. Oh. These themes, like clocks, were present from the very first episode on this channel. Although it did look a little more minimalistic back here. I only had a few stopped clocks and I was very excited about having gotten that first whiteboard. And about having gotten my desk, which this is what's left of it. And I'm not even sure which side originally was the top or which side originally was what. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, we're definitely going to need a new desk for grade negative two. All right, I'm going to keep this little piece of the desk as a memento we'll put in the background for grade negative two, but the rest of this stuff has to go. Now, before I fully finish resetting my clock through a new grade, I do need to finish something else that I mentioned in that first intro episode on this channel when I was first setting up my clocks. All right, that sets up our clock situation. Now we'll have one right all the time. And if I ever need to know what the exact time at any given moment is, I can just take a field trip to the sundial. And I was referring to a real sundial, one that I've visited many times in the past, but one that I was unable to physically get to during last year. So now, while I continue telling you about last year, why don't we finally take that field trip to that sundial? Well, the wind was really noisy in this footage, so I cut out the audio and I'm gonna do a little voiceover. We took a walk to what I call the sundial, but technically the markings on it make it a solar calendar that lets you know the time of year. And after visiting that, we decided to take the long way back to see more types of nature, like these cool squirrel things and all sorts of birds. Like, look at this bird! I love seeing different animals and plants, and not all of them exist right in the combo classroom. When you go out into nature, you encounter all sorts of good surprises. And I would have taken more field trips like this during grade negative one if I'd been physically able to. But through those surgeries and recoveries, last year was one of the only years of my life that I didn't spend a lot of my time taking walks in nature, exploring different parts of the wilderness, encountering all of these cool things. But now that I've gotten through those surgeries, in grade negative two, we are going to be able to take more cool field trips. I've really missed taking hikes in nature like that, and I've really missed camping as well. And although we can't travel too far right now, this may be the only time for a little while where the combo classroom itself has a tent sized amount of open space in it. So I figured before we wrap up grade negative one, why don't we try camping out in the combo classroom for a night? All right, it's just me and the classroom at night. Dandelion, you like the tent? That's a good boy. Well, 
it was so nice camping out here that I ended up leaving this tent here for a couple nights. And now before I put it away, I figured we should get one more classic camping activity in and light ourselves a little campfire. Although fire can be a force of destruction, there are ways in which that might be necessary. Sometimes forest fires clear room for other life to grow, and that can be symbolic to me of ways in which you sometimes must destroy the old to have room for the new to grow. Sort of like how I've recommended us abandoning our addictions to how the alphabet currently looks or to the number system that our numbers are currently counted in and maybe destroy a couple of old conventions to have room for new ideas to sprout. Well, fire reminds me of things like that and it's also just beautiful to look at. Before we had anything like TVs or YouTube, cavemen would stare at fires in the evening to relax, sort of like someone would watch television. And maybe I'm sort of caveman-like, but there are many ways in which I prefer staring at the shapes that fire makes compared to watching some TV show. And while we have a campfire going, we might as well use the power of one of my favorite of the four elements, fire, to cook ourselves a nice little meal. All right, and now it's time to take down the tent and continue the process of transforming this classroom in a way almost like I was saying fire does, where we're gonna have to destroy a few things here to have room to create all of the cool ideas I have planned for grade negative two. All right, we got that camping trip in just in time. Now I guess time for the final rain to help us with our reset. The rain did decide to return heavily this month and make the water a recurring symbol during this finale. There were a bunch of miniature floods, or you could call them massive puddles, and a river of sorts running through the combo classroom, turning it almost into a wetland here. And now that the rain has dried up and we're cleaning up the combo classroom, we're finding all sorts of wildlife, like worms, and even these, I think they're salamanders, which we're gonna relocate into a larger habitat. Now, as we move into grade negative two, I did choose this specific stopping point for a reason. This is the 36th episode, 36 being an awesome number, a square number and triangular number. And if our society ever counts in base six, which would be much superior to our base 10 system, the number that this episode is, or how many episodes were in grade negative one on this channel, would be written like that. And of course, there's also lots of great bonus lessons, live streams, and short videos on my Demotro channel, which while we've been filming this six month, uh, has skyrocketed past six digits in the base 10 system we're stuck in, amount of combo lords subscribed to it. Now, before grade negative one's fully wrapped up, I do need to look back on a few class rules that I made, half jokingly, half seriously, in an earlier pair of episodes. These class rules that we had so far were attendance is optional, there's no dress code, be skeptical of all rules, and yes, that includes these, to respect the classroom chicken. Although with all the other cool animals that have helped us out, I think I'll edit this one a little and say respect the classroom animals, which does still include the classroom chicken. 
And next, also animal related, although I had my cats in mind for this, is that petting an animal's belly is a holy act. And the last role we currently had, since this was made during a snack break episode, was to expand your view of what's edible. Now I want to add a few more rules of things that we may have learned are important over the course of this grade. Our first new rule is to remember that thrieven things are fundamental throughout math and nature. Even things get enough credit in this era. Let's share some credit with thrieven things. Next is to appreciate numbers and appreciate nature. Not always at the same time, but to make sure that you can have an appreciation for each of these in your life without losing the appreciation for the other. Next is to not get too addicted to how current languages or societal structures work. That includes which letters are in an alphabet, which base we write numbers in, how we keep track of time on clocks or calendars. Don't get too hooked on the way you're used to these things working being the only way, because they could improve and will probably change again in the future. And our last new rule is only break up to one of these rules at a time. Never break two or more of these rules at the same time. And I was also going to add a rule that said, don't copy any of the actions that you see me do with flames or sharp things. But I didn't want that to get confused as being half joking. Actually, don't copy that stuff. Now, a lot of this video was about the process that it took for me to plan and present all of these episodes, but I couldn't have made the episodes without some types of help. So instead of making a credits at the end of this episode, I wanted to spend some time now giving a more thorough thanks to some people and things, such as the camera people who have helped me film a bunch of this, especially Carlo, who's filming right now. Hey, what's up, my fellow combo lords? It's Carlo from Combo Class. Just wanted to say I had a bunch of fun filming certain parts of Grade Negative 1, and I can't wait to see you guys all in Grade Negative 2. Thanks for checking it out. Yep, we'll get some more Carlo cameos next grade. And some of this episode was also filmed by my friend Julia. And I also stuck up all the names of other people who have filmed parts of this grade. These people are in the earlier credits and compensated and stuff. But let's give them an extra thanks for making this grade what it was. I'd also like to thank my family and my friends. Those of you who consider yourselves part of my squad know who I'm referring to. And I'd also like to thank some non-human animals that have helped us here, like all the nice squirrels that have run by the background, all the nice birds giving us natural, beautiful soundtracks in the background, and of course, my cats. Making these episodes also took some money, which uh, money is boring to talk about, but it's true that it costs things to get equipment and hire people and get clocks and such. And at first that money was coming from private lessons that I was teaching in music and math. And that took up a decent amount of my week last year. I was still teaching these lessons in and around all of those surgeries. And it was only really recently, at the beginning of this March, a few weeks ago, that I officially quit that and don't teach private lessons anymore. I can dedicate my time toward making these public videos for people across the world, as well as more time to finish some books I've been writing and other projects like that. And a lot of that is due to the help of people such as Evan Clark, as well as all of these names of my Patreon supporters who have supported me on the website Patreon and helped us have the funds to make these episodes, as well as the funds for some cool surprises I have ready for grade negative two. And since it's also great to have the Combo Class community 
growing. And one of the places where a lot of people are chatting combo class or other fun educational topics is on the site or app Discord. And there's some great conversations on there. I'm not a technology guy, so I don't use that app except for the combo class server, which is pretty fun to look at when I have time. And since some people have started some really cool conversations on there and kept that community going, let me shout out the magic fellow who helps me moderate there and helps me come out with fun puzzles and challenges, as well as these names of the people who have posted most frequently on there and all of the others, anyone watching this, a huge thanks for joining me on this weird journey and having us build this community so quick. All right, now time to finish destroying a few things so that I have room for all of these new clocks that I got, among other surprises that you'll have to wait for grade negative two to see. And in fact, I got myself a new lab coat for the new grade because for this new grade, I might as well freshen up a little bit so we're not even going to need this old beat up lab coat anymore. We could toss that there and put on our fresh one. Uh, although now that I think of, maybe I should, maybe I should have a backup lab coat. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe it would help to still have this one. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. All right, and now it's also time to catch up the other half of my hair to where that first half got a little head start to. But for those who liked the longer hair and the messier lab coat, don't worry, I'm sure that throughout grade negative two, the messiness and chaos will build up once again as we ride through various cycles of nature. I like to compare these grades to clocks in ways because they have cycles where the hair might get long and then reset. The lab coat might get messy and then reset. And we have many cycles in our life from the day to night cycle, the cycle of your lifetime, the seasons, and we're gonna observe our own cycles within these grades. Also this week I've kept forgetting that I only had like 40% of my hair. And as I was walking around town, I would get some strange looks. <laughs> Remember not to judge people based on their appearance. All right. And with all of that said, it's about time for grade negative two.